Hi guys, welcome to the Pink Pill channel. Let's get right into Ebony K. Williams. She's out here being hypergamous again. She's out here telling women that while they are in college, they should get their missus degree. This is not breaking news, okay? And in general, overreaching, broad strokes, I agree with her. Here's where I don't agree with her. Yes, in college, why? And she didn't, she didn't go into the detail that I do. But in college, this is your prime opportunity to meet the future masters of the universe. That means you guys are all on the same playing field. You have an opportunity to pick out potential men who are going to be super successful and get them while they're on the ground and go up with them. My sister-in-law, my ex-sister-in-law did the same thing. She went to school. She went to the best schools, which I recommend. She went to the best schools. She met her husband. She lives a very easy life. Yes, it is a great opportunity to meet a man that is on the ground floor that you can go up that ladder or hopefully elevator with. However, I have a problem with Ebony's statements because of what she said specifically about black women. She said, black women, for the most part, want to marry black men. So if they want to do that, they need to start in college because as black women age, their de desirability goes down because it's related to fertility. But she also mentioned this. She said that in college, there's like, seven black girls to one black guy. And she was saying that the odds would be better if you, in your college years, would go after that one guy. So let's just imagine what that looks like. It kind of looks like the Hunger Games Black Love College Edition. And honey, if that's what you want to do, may the odds forever be in your favor. But imagine what that is like. You're one man. Get out of your body for a second. You're one man and you have seven women who are competing for you. How do you think that man is going to treat you? Do you think that they'll, you'll have any luck with them at all? What kind of relationship do you think you're going to have with the other black girls on campus if you're competing, if seven of you are competing for every one man? Do you think that you're going to have good relationships with other black women on col in college if you guys are all fighting for the same five guys. Here's where Ebony got it wrong. Yes, you should be looking for your mate in college. Yes, you are at the prime of your beauty, fertility, et cetera, et cetera. I agree. Where she got it wrong was being exclusive to black men. Absolutely not. And I'm going to say something else too. Check out my video on why I believe that black young black girls should not go to HBCUs, should not go to historically black colleges if they want to get married because they still outnumber the men there. And the men, the ratios do not just add, they don't add up. The men that you go to school with aren't marrying you guys in mass, even in HBCUs. It's just the dynamic is too crazy. The competition just doesn't work. Competition for women only works if it's in our favor. And in this case, it does not. It is not in our favor. So the idea of going to college specifically looking for a black man, whether you are at a, uh, a primarily white university, a PWI or an HBCU, either way, black women need to move around. I'm not saying that you totally eliminate black men from your dating pool. The three that are there, maybe consider them if there's a vibe, but you've got this whole smorgasbord of other men that you're just going to look over so you can be laser focused on a guy that you have to compete with six other women. And how does the numbers even work when 60 something percent of black women are enrolled in college and 30 something percent of black men are enrolled in college? The imbalance there on its face adds a dynamic which makes black girls, young black women extremely vulnerable to abuse, exploitation, sexual exploitation, emotional damage. Instead, why is it 
between Tyler Perry saying, well, since y'all black women want to be with a black man, if you're successful, you should be okay with the light bill. And we have Ebony K. Williams coming out literally weeks later saying, if you want a black man, you need to compete with other six other black girls in college to get them. Why are we doing this? This is a circle jerk. This is a hamster wheel that we continue to volunteer to run on. Why is it that we won't just take the logical conclusion and open up our options because the numbers simply are not there? Even if every black man married a black woman today, there would still be millions of black women left over. And what are those black women supposed to do? Why are we continuously being told that we need to hold out hope and manufacture imaginary numbers and statistics to keep this hope alive instead of just saying, I'm going to be open to the possibilities of dating everyone? How sweet would it be that you just happen to be in a class where you meet your future husband and he has the same beliefs, value systems, family values that you do and you guys connect and it doesn't matter what color he is. How nice would it be to find your future husband who will grow to be a provider because he is building on his success. You've been encouraging the whole way and you guys have done it together. What difference does it make if that man is black? Why put these burdens on us? But better question is black women why are you putting these burdens on yourself? Yes, look for your man in college. But honey, look at all of them, not just the black ones. And by the way, your girl created a course called the Pink Pill for College to help young black girls do this very thing, to be able to navigate in this very opportune period in your life that literally can set the template for the kind of life you want for the rest of your life. It's everything I wished somebody would have told me when I went to college. I pour it all into you. Everything from etiquette, business, networking, and romance. So check out the Pink Pill for College. It'll have the instructions that you need. I guarantee you my advice in the Pink Pill for College is going to be better than what Ebony K. Williams gave you just now. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Chris Karazin, and this is The Pink Pill. I will see you next time. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And as always, pinkies up.